Hey guys, so the last couple of things we're going to do is just to quickly adjust the health and stuff for the player. So right now, if you were to test out your game, you'll notice that when the enemy hits you, they do stop moving and it's because we're having this repeat until touching player. So they kind of just stay there floating around. So underneath the repeat until, we're going to go ahead and add delete to this clone at the very bottom. You want to go ahead and do that to all of your enemies that you have. So I'm going to add that to both of these down here. Another thing that I want to go ahead and do is for my player health, instead of resetting it every time we start the game, we're also going to use when green flag is clicked. We're going to also set our player health to 10. Uh, other things that we could do as well is if you notice on your character select screen, every time your, uh, your player dies, uh, they'll spawn wherever they last were. So for example, right here is where my player is. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move my player exactly where I want them to. Once I have them here, I'm going to add a go to block. So on the player sprite, a go to block on this block of code here that says when green flag is clicked, switch to costume one. And I want to make sure, oops. Okay. And I want to make sure that this X and Y matches my blue block X's and Y. So this is actually negative six that I'm going to change. And my Y is negative 13. So now if I test out everything that I did for the added changes, when I play my game, I'm able to move. If an enemy touches me, I lose health, but they also die. So I don't have to worry about that. Oh, that's interesting. So something is resetting my health. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually remove the set health from my health bar here and test that out just to make sure everything works now. Everything else should be good. I'll just let myself lose. All right, perfect. So you can just go ahead and remove this one and that should be fine. And also if you notice when I click on my green flag and play my game again, my character always starts exactly where my character select screen is. So that should be good. So that should be the last thing that we do. Again, testing it one more time because it's always good to test. So those are the added changes you guys wanna make sure you guys do. So again, uh, for the player health, it's when green flag is clicked, set player health to 10. That's where you want to add it. And we're going to remove the set player health 10 from here so it doesn't glitch out. The other thing is on the player, you want to make sure that you add a go to X and Y block uh, just so that they always snap into the place where the character select screen. So they're not just floating around in random areas. And then for the enemies, you just want to make sure that at the very bottom of this big block of code, you add delete this clone to every enemy just to make sure that they delete after touching you. And after that, you're pretty much all wrapped up for week three deep dive. The next thing you guys can look forward to for week four is going to be adding uh, different screens for your story, information and stuff like that.